Now we start in Nigeria. The country has recovered more than $160 million in alleged corruption proceeds from four people. This includes a $9.2 million from a former head of the state-owned oil company. Uh, President Mohamedou Buhari was elected in 2015 after campaigning to end widespread corruption in the country of more than 180 million people. Of course, several former government officials, including army generals, are currently on trial for corruption. Uh, Price Cooper's 2016 report estimated that this could cost the country 37% of its gross domestic product. Now let's find out more from Deji Badmus. He joins us in Lagos. Deji, as always, you're welcome to the show. Now, of course, while this uh, is great news for Nigeria's government's fight against corruption, just last week, Deji, we saw Nigerians march. They were protesting the state of affairs in the country. Does, does this uh, change the government's uh, growing reputation uh, as ineffective? Does this news shed some positive light on the government? Well, Uche, you can say that again. Uh, fact is that um, I wouldn't say Nigerians consider this government as ineffective. What, what Nigerians are really not happy about is um, actually the state of the economy. But in terms of the fight against corruption, uh, the majority of Nigerians would tell you they are happy with the way the government is going about it and that um, there's no doubt at all that this government has waged a very serious fight. Uh, against corruption and that um, it's a kind of fight we have not seen before. But in terms of the economy, of course, things are yet to pick up, even though the government has said, um, uh, well, all things being equal, the economy will pick up this year, the country will come out of recession and, uh, you know, bounce back on the path of growth. In terms of what this is doing to its reputation, of course, uh, there's no question at all that in terms of uh, the fight against corruption, this reputa the reputation of this government is quite solid. But when it comes to the economy, uh, Uche, it's a different ball game, And that is why people are just hopeful that, um, well, as the government has promised, that um, with time, you know, before the end of this year, the economy will get out of recession and that things will change. And the protest we saw last week was actually over the way uh, the government is handling the economy. People are just not happy that things are quite tough at this time. Mm. Now, Deji, nevertheless, we've seen some critis criticize this government's efforts uh, in corruption, or to end corruption, rather, as a witch hunt against the opposition. Uh, now, tell us a bit more about the culprits. Who are the culprits uh, in terms of stealing this money? And certainly, what are the re repercussions we can expect to see? Well, Uche, what we have seen with the fight, uh, uh, the government's fight against corruption, and we have seen that also in the past, is that, um, you know, at the end of the day, there are those who will see things from a, a political point of view. It's a divisive issue. There's no question at all about it. Uh, the opposition party, for instance, thinks uh, uh, the, the corruption fight is basically targeted at its members. But, of course, we have seen people who do not belong to any political party as, uh, you know, getting arrested. Uh, let me give you a typical example. Uh, the former head of the Nigerian military, I'm talking about the chief of defense staff, not a political party member, he's been arrested. Quite a number of people who do not belong to any of the two major political parties in this country. And we've also seen politicians, as a matter of fact, across the political divide, uh, you know, uh, arrested. What this government has said is that in response to those who have said um, it, it appears that more of the opposition party members are being arrested, well, what the response of the government has been is that it is the opposition party that has been in government uh, for the past 16 years. I'm talking about the PDP. And that it is only natural that since the government is investigating, you know, former public officials, that it's only natural that uh, more of uh, more members of the opposition parties uh, party now would be arrested and uh, just as we have it now but then the government has made it clear that um, its fight against corruption is not a witch political witch hunt at all and mm -hmm. that um, e even president Muhammad buhari has also said look even if members of his political parties are involved if they have questions to answer they'll be brought in and, and asked questions and if there would have to be arraigned before a judge 
that would surely happen, Uche. Mm. And shifting focus just slightly, Deji, uh, we know the government has also said about 300 uh, million U.S. dollars in stolen funds is yet to be recovered from the West, countries like the U.S. and the U.K. and, of course, Switzerland. Any insights into how much outstanding money is still being sought uh, by the government? To be candid, Uche, it's, it's quite difficult to tell. I'm not even sure the government can even you know, confidently tell Nigerians how much actually it is outstanding. Uh, we've had figures bandied about. For instance, we've had figures like 200 billion. We've had something less than that. Um, what we do know is that every once in a while we have money coming in, like what Nigeria is expecting now, um, you know, in the region of $300 million. Um, and what we do know is that... Uh, a substantial amount of money was actually stolen from this country by those who served, uh, you know, at various uh, capacities. Uh, and the government has said it will do everything it can to ensure these stolen funds are returned, uh, you know, repatriated back uh, to the country. But, but it, it is difficult to actually say how much it is. But people know that it, it's quite huge and that so much has actually been returned. But uh, what we have been told is that even though we thought so much had been returned, uh, what we're being told is that so much is still being expected and that so much is hitting out there, you know, stolen from this country that the government is expecting uh, that this money is will be returned. But um, to, to be candid, which in, it's difficult to, to put a figure to it, but right. it, it's quite massive as we've been told. Right. Well, many thanks, Deji, for those insights. Of course, Deji Badmus joining us in Lagos there.